Chris Christie uh, went on local uh, radio this morning and explained, I think, a lot about why he wasn't at the debate, uh, which was a bit surprising, and more importantly, why he was not happy with Donald Trump's response. Take a listen. I didn't think it was, and and I on Friday or or, or Saturday, and I told him that. Um, I would have done it much differently, but um, you know, I do think he's sorry, and I do think he's embarrassed by it. No question in my mind about it. I, I was there when he found out about it, and there's no question in my mind he's embarrassed by it. But I think that you know he should have been much more direct and much more focused on saying, just saying, I'm sorry, and only I'm sorry. You know, I was told uh, by a source after that epic night uh, on Friday night that there was some frustration in Trump's camp, that he wouldn't listen. This actually gives a really uh, fascinating insight into somebody who has been very important, who was clearly, he's now saying, frustrated. And the apology was then followed, as we all talked about, by a pivot and attack on, on Bill Clinton. That is clearly something that Chris Christie was not happy about. But this is a big but. He's still supporting his old friend, uh, Donald Trump, and he also said that this morning. I'm still supporting Donald. Um, you know, obviously I was disappointed by what happened um, but, and, and, you know, and disappointed in, in some respects by the response initially, but, um, uh, but I'm still supporting him. Has it wavered at all? Well, you certainly have to think about it. Now, you know, I've known him for a long time, and, I, and, and I'm, I'm really upset by what I heard, but in the end— um, this election is about bigger issues than just that. And so, um, you know, at, at this point, I still support him. And, and, you know, but certainly you take some time to think about that when you're when you're going through this. And